I am sitting inside my car right now pondering the installation of my CGM anti-fuel starvation kit, effectively a canister, a really nice canister, I'll give them that, and how it's got to get into my gas tank. Looking over here with me, I got to be able to get this off and then pop this top hat out and then get this in there. Let me outline a few things. I'm gonna put this at the start of the video, so if you wanna get started, you don't have to watch this whole damn thing, I don't care. When you run the Venturi on it, make sure to go down the spine of your dual pump and then go up in between the two filters on the twin pump, come up to the Venturi clip in. Um, on my fuel hanger, I extended uh, the, the hanger wire about a foot assembly off to the side uh, that made it a little bit easier for me there is going to be a stud that's included with this and you're going to want to put that in the front uh, of the assembly if possible have your uh, fuel drained out of your tank because you have to reach down in there uh, you're going to have to put the the hanger assembly on while it's inside the tank a canister as it goes into the tank it's actually incredibly tight so there's no way for you to actually have that uh there's a a couple metal plates that you'll see later in the video that actually have to go uh on while it's in the tank which i was just saying so uh first test your uh twin assembly inside the canister before you even put it in the tank there's uh fuel socks there's mesh fuel socks so you need to make sure that those are adjusted correctly do that outside the tank actually make sure everything fits in before you before you put the assembly inside of here so put the hanger on inside inside the tank i like i said i extended mine you don't have to do that it made life easier for me because i was fighting with it the, the wiring is pretty short for the hanger yeah if you extend it you can lay the twin pump assembly off to the side while you put in the the hanger on the inside of here uh, so Now we got to get these Allen bolts out. All right, let's see if we can get this out. I have the bolts out. Oh, look at it go. Straight up and out. Oh, we got a connection here. He's holding it up. Mmm! That smells potent. Lots of venturi. Alright. Oh man. Alright, so this right here, the venturi, all you gotta do is push it on one side. Kind of get the other side at the same time. And then you push up with a screwdriver and this kind of slides down comes out and then pull that to the side that will get you to where you need to go now I think I can take this out look at that right here you can't really kind of see with the light uh, here, this is where the fuel level sensor goes this is a fuel level sensor so I'm gonna try taking this off here is that all right so that came off you just pinch right here pull up it fits in. Look at that. Apparently this has to go on the outside of the tank. Nice. One. Got the wrong size. Really? What in the... Oh, it's always something, man. I tell ya. Nice. Alright, so apparently that has to come off. And it goes on the outside of this. So, all right. So, why I was getting stuck was the actual size is not metric. Uh, it's one eighth. All right. Where are we at? There we are. One eighth down the hole. Maybe it didn't get stuck. 
Okay, so some of the instructions that I uh, received was to actually take this bottom canister off and and do some alignment uh, with this with this out. So that is why I'm taking this off. Oh, that's that's pretty cool, simple and beautiful. I like it. And now I need to I'll do a test fit of the canister inside here. All right, so for this top hat to line up, uh, I, I guess it's pretty self-evident. Right here, there's uh, two narrow uh, spots and one long one to go in. So it pretty much makes it so you can only put it in one way. So I think uh, basically I have to take these guys off, these nuts, and we got three, three screws. I'm guessing they go up there. We got some washers, and I'm guessing that they go, they're crush washers that go in the top. Look, it already has some that came with it, so. Uh, all right, cool. I'll just uh, take that off now. Looks like I need a socket on the bottom. Let me go grab a tool for that. All right, to get this off, you're gonna need 11 millimeter, and so that goes on the bottom right here. And then you're gonna need I guess that's one eighth, 11 mil and one eighth. Off it goes. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, Stripmaster Flex strikes again. Well, sir, that's enough power tools for me. Glad that was on video. All right, so let's try that again. Fucking don't use power tool to break that loose like I, I did. All right. That, sir. Did the same shit. Let's see if I can go three for three. Fuck it. Let's do this. Yep, stripped it. That's cool. I'm gonna just try breaking it free from here. All right, so those nuts have to come free first. It comes out pretty fairly easy. So, even if you strip it like I did, well, maybe that you can still get it out and it doesn't matter because you got better hardware that's going to go into it fucking shit it's actually pretty nice but in this scenario it's fucking shit all right all right so that came out All right, this is probably like the roughest new CGM pump out there. I did a little grinding on this to make some uh, dash eight, dash six, just the dash eight work. Just kind of checking this out here. Look, I got my fuel socks there. Looks like they line up. I think this is, I'll try getting this up. Uh, putting this bottom piece on just to see how it fits. Well, it fits perfect. You'll get these fuel socks and they're a lot smaller than the OE. The reason why he had to do it, well, clearly is for space. Uh, it's simply just pop them on and they clip in to the bottom. There's uh, literally you just pull off the old ones, push on these new ones, that's it for that. And this is kind of how they will fit in there like that. And then that'll fit in. I'm gonna put this in. I might could kill it. I had enough fun with stripped out stuff. A couple of 
That's on. And the Venturi has to go in here. This is the Venturi. I don't even know if you can see that, but this is a Venturi line. You know, he gave me a tip on it, so let me look it up. So pretend that was the 370 twin. You got you have the pumps with the strainers, you have the Venturi on there. And you'll plug that guy into the strip to the Venturi and you'll wrap it around. This this flexible section goes right or under the pump really well in between the strainers, but under the pump. And then I feed it up this straight section and I was just holding it like this, holding the spine and the hose together like that. And then I would feed it down into here. And you'll just feed it down in there. And where I end up with the flat, I end up with it coming around the canister right here. So that's why I kind of bend that tube this way because I get the most slack by you know, taking the shortest route and then I have enough length to go you know, all the way down and loop back up. This is like the final resting position of the hose. Ooh, it's in. It's in. So, that sucks. All right, so. Wow, that is snug. Oh, dog dick. This has to go on after. Okay, so without having this on for the hanger, wow, it is snug. Remember, hair goes towards. Whoa, that was uh, close. That's ridiculous. Now it's in. Oh, okay, cool. All right, I should probably bring you down for a better look at this. All right, so no joke, this thing barely fit through. And if you have the opportunity to drain your gas tank and put this in, I'd highly suggest it because having these on for the gas level it won't it won't even go through this gas tank drain your tank if you can what this looks like this little nugget right there has to go down specifically instructed not to reef down on these or else I will strip it out. Snug. Snug. All right. Now you can do the gas line. All right, there it is, just clipped in. I don't know if you can see it, but it's in. All right, so I got the, the anti-fuel starvation in and it was a pain in the ass because I had the stud on the back right-hand side. Let me see if I can show you. This right here, don't put it there. Put it on the hole uh, right by itself, everything lined up. So I was like literally fighting this for like two hours. I couldn't get it to line up for reasons I couldn't figure out. So I uh, basically ended up taking the whole thing out. I was getting desperate. And then everything lined back up and then we put the stud in the front hole and everything worked out. So next steps are to just gear this down and then put it back on. All we gotta do now, get this attached to the anti-starvation canister. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up, maybe if you like this or found it informative. If not, whatever, you don't have to, but I appreciate it if you do.